Amongst some other goodies, Michael Gegsno once again sent me some cool stuff. First of all, he sent me the Snee Chemicals brand Laundersol fabric softener, as well as their car wash stuff that they sell. Um, but he also threw this in the box while we were at it. Uh, the only problem with this label, which he thoughtfully printed up, is that it should say Christmas in just slime. And I'll read it to you. It says, contents are not to be used as anal probes, acupuncture, or electroshock therapy. Christmas in July. Contents also had a special fluid in them, but more than likely, you want to use that kind. You, you won't want to use that kind. <laughs> so you can fill it with your own kind. Maybe red or blue or a Jay's special blend. So we'll take off that, obviously save that, and that's cute. Even cut it into like a price tag thing. This guy's great. So I have no idea what's in here. This is just a little like bonus thing. It looks like it's from Flea Bay, but that just could be Flea Bay tape. I have no idea what's in here at all. I figured I'd open it on video and we will find out together. It's blue inside. Uh-oh. A whole bunch of pen oilers. <laughs> wow. Mr. Gegsno, sir, you are something else. That is unreal. I had mentioned this in an email to him some time ago. And it's actually funny. It's actually funny that he um, remembered that. I used to have one of these at work years ago. And I used to oil people's fans for them. There's some blue ones that are here and some black ones that are here and some red ones that are here, which can be filled all with the, uh, <clears throat> the blue can, you know, the blue can. So we can fill all those up with that, with that. But here's the funny thing. Um, I had mentioned that, like I said, and uh, I went on Flea Bay, and for the tune of like 77 cents, this is what I got. <laughs> it's a joke, I understand that. Uh, the picture, of course, didn't make it look to be this small. This is like a watch oiler. I don't know if you can see, but that is an extremely fine tip. And it actually works. See, what happened was I ordered this, and uh, it didn't come when China said it would come. So what I did was I put in a thing to eBay and they said, okay, sorry, we refunded your money. And then out of nowhere, the first one showed up. I had already ordered a second one. So here's the first one I got. And of course I put the blue can in here and maybe, just maybe, you can see a little tiny drop of Earl at the end of that there. So it actually does work somehow, believe it or not. Very surprising. So thank you very much to Michael Gegsno. Now I have enough pen oilers to last me probably the rest of my life. These are um, these are something. Definitely something. And um, my goodness, I, I didn't know so many of them would happen at one time. So those are the pen oilers and uh, thank you once again for that. Some are longer than the others as you can tell. So I'll put all of that away and while we're here in this video because it's rather short you may remember the sign about the blue can. Well I figured um, it would be a great idea if I uh, laminated that because it's just kind of been sitting here and, uh, you know, I'll hang it up over here so maybe it'll make cameo appearances uh, in the video. So uh, let's get out the laminator and we'll laminate that along with one other thing. Okay, here's my GBC Heat Seal H200. I did a review on the, uh, the Aldi one from some time ago. And... Um, 
That is uh, still in my possession and still working fine. It's kept in the box. This one got really dusty because it's not in the box. So we have to let this heat up and when it does this will glow if this switch wants to cooperate and it's been it's got like dirty contacts and that but for how often I use it I just jiggle it back and forth and that's it so the laminating sheet will open and we will stick this inside trying to center it as best as possible that looks pretty good to me yeah that's pretty close to me and then we'll get the carrier The oldie one allegedly says that no carrier is required, but somebody had mentioned to me that a carrier is always a good idea, so I think I will always use one. Yeah, that's heating up. Oh yeah, that smells wonderful. Especially with all the dust that gets in the little holes back here in that. So we'll let this heat up, and once it does, we will laminate. Okay, we're all set. So we'll take everything and shove it in. There we are, laminated. So, there we go. Blue can. This one, I will show you in the end what it is. Laminate this also. So we'll stick that through. And it appears the light in it had gone out. So I guess maybe the heating element is not quite up to snuff. There, it just came back on. It's thermostatically controlled, but I guess it uh, had done that. So anyway, there we are. And this looks like it laminated quite well also. Yes, that's fine. It's got some sort of little ripple in it, but it's all right. And here's what that says. So if you want to read that, if you can with the glare, maybe this way. You can go to Wikipedia and read, uh, look up uh, blinking lights, and you can read this. So I figured I'd hang this up over by my uh, networking stuff, just for fun. So that's it. We'll shut this guy down. And it did a fine job once again. Thank you again to Michael Gagsno for all the cool shit time and time again. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.